Well, good morning, YouTubers, friends, and family across the world. Welcome to Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on August 29th, 2017. And welcome to another 24 hours on this lovely planet. We are survivors. God bless you all, and thank you for joining me today. So we've got uh, a couple of storms here, of course, that we're keeping an eye on. We've got uh, Tropical Storm Sanvu. It's now moving north-northwest as a Category 1. Uh, it may take a track to south of Japan. We'll see over the next 24 hours. Also looking at low pressure developing the west coast of Australia. Uh, nothing too serious here on the Western Pacific Geostationary Satellite. But over on the east, we've got Hurricane Harvey, who has now brought 49 inches of rain to Houston, Texas. Uh, the most devastating flood that they've experienced ever and they could potentially see up to 60 inches of rain so that's five feet of rain from this storm hurricane harvey forced to be reckoned with i tell you that and another tropical storm developing off the east coast of florida will be heading north northeast along the atlantic seaboard so the Atlantic provinces of Canada, be aware, you will have high surf and a lot of strong winds from this tropical depression moving up the east coast. And looking over the East Pacific satellite, uh, you can see a very large low pressure system in the south and small uh, tropical depression forming off the west coast of Mexico as well. So we'll be watching as this one forms here and also the other one forming off of the west coast of Africa uh, you could see the very large push off the coast there and there is circular motion within that low pressure system flying off of Africa and then there's another one forming possibly in the middle of Africa moving west and watching a large low developing in Europe right now we'll be bringing a lot of thunderstorms high winds you can see the circular motion of that storm but Sanvu is a very big storm moisture all the way down to the Philippines from tropical storm Sanvu and you can see it reaches as high as uh, southern Japan so this is a very large storm, it's not very organized, and it is only a Category 1. So we will not be dealing with any kind of human threat with this particular storm. But quite possibly the next one, and it's really hard to say, the jet streams have changed so much over the past little while, uh, it's hard to say where Samvu will go, so uh, only time will tell. <coughs> We're just going to have a look here at uh, the Soho Lasco 2 image and nothing too much to report on. There was a small flare uh, a couple days ago, but uh, nothing to report. Solar wind is calm. And we'll just do a small rundown for earthquakes for the past 24 hours. You can see still deep earthquakes happening in the Tonga region. A lot of 4.0s along the Ring of Fire. And we've had a couple stronger earthquakes in the Caribbean. In, in, uh, yeah, um, the earthquake swarm in the Caribbean is just insane. And when you look at these numbers, it makes you really wonder what's going on there. So that's the last two days. This is the last two days. Those are a lot of earthquakes. And here's seven days. Man, it looks like Earth's going to split at the seams. But yeah, I mean, the computer can't even keep up here. There's been quite a few earthquakes this year. Or sorry, this past seven days. Um... I've seen seven-day models before, and they haven't looked like this. So uh, very active, 
and we're expecting it to get even more active in the coming month as we go into our winter solstice. A lot of action in the southern hemisphere as well. Large deep earthquakes in South America, quite concerning. So I want everybody to stay aware, and this is why I'm here. Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. I'm here to report on severe weather analysis and disaster uh, alerts worldwide for you, the people, so you can be aware and you can stay prepared as our Mother Earth is going through a lot of changes right now on the verge of a grand solar minimum. That's right, folks. If nobody knows what that is, that is when the sun pretty much goes to sleep for a long time. Now we're talking possibly 10 to 20 years. No solar flares, no large eruptions. Meaning a cold northern hemisphere. And I just wanted to give you a show here. Uh, this is the P Pacific Disaster Center. Uh, this reports everything from diseases and fires and uh, earthquakes, uh, tropical storms, droughts, floods. It's got it all here. So you can see the track of the tropical storm off Florida. It's supposed to go all the way up to Britain. And you can see the track here of Sanvu. And looks like it should go northwest and then on a northern track. But see, it doesn't go very far, because they don't know what it's going to do. None of us do. Our jet streams are so wonky right now, it's not normal. This next month, everybody will see what I've been talking about. We're going to be coming to some major catastrophic changes on Earth. We'll be dealing with environmental refugees around the world. Already looking at... 2.6 million from Asia and now we're going to be dealing with environmental refugees in North America the United States from all of these devastating floods in Houston and in the southern states Gulf states, Alabama Louisiana so I mean just look at these, these maps uh, every continent is riddled with disease, droughts, floods, fires, erupting volcanoes, earthquakes in diverse places. This is a pretty scary place, but fear not. Because as long as we're aware and we're prepared, we will survive. Humans are best at adapting. That's what we are here to do. Adapt to life. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop to look around once in a while, you'll miss it. Or you might get left behind. Which is what our major governments would rather five million of us do. Agenda 2030. People look it up. Research it. And read what the United Nations has presented and put forth for every nation across the world. There is a lot of good, but there is also a lot of bad. So stay aware, folks. And I don't think I'm going to get this going, so um, I was going to show you the last seven days visible image of Hurricane Harvey uh, forming in the Gulf, heading towards Texas, but I've got some really... Uh, slow internet right now, so we'll have to uh, make up another video for that later on Once I have some uh, better data But I want to thank you all for watching today. This has been uh, Mike with your morning dew daily events worldwide I'm here for you Stay aware be prepared Stay young and have fun And get your morning dew Thanks for watching Bye-bye.